Yeah. Hi all. Uh, good evening. Hope all of this is my first presentation with the. I mean the first presentation with the Agile Network India. Uh, it feels great to be a part of this team. Hope you all are safe and uh, feel great being a part of it. Hope. Uh, today I would be talking on how you can transform the enterprise into a truly agile enterprise by evolving. So it's like a step-by-step -step approach which has to be taken. Agile has become the need of the hour. Embracing agile, um, everybody wants to embrace agile. Gone are the days when we had large companies would actually take over the smaller ones, but then. Uh, now it's like the fast, the one which can actually give value to the customers quite fast are the ones which actually eat up the slower ones, however big they are. That is the new reality. When it comes to traditional enterprises uh, with large distributed systems, uh, teams, they build large solutions, reaping the benefits of true agile uh, is like far from reality. These firms must embark on the transformation journey. Adopting agile practices uh, seems easily achievable for startups. Uh, so they are a quick close knit team, right? They work closely and they will be able to easily take advantage of their close knit uh, uh, way of working, the way they work and etc. But when you have large organizations, they have to go through a journey of uh, they actually start off with might be they probably adopt tools frameworks but merely i mean just taking up the picking up the tools will not work wonders the magic will happen uh, when you actually start i mean take up uh, imbibe some processes structures cultures all together all this together makes you achieve true business agility but the true business outcomes as well right so i mean this whole process requires uh, time and effort what we propose uh, for the organizations which are large to take uh, a journey multi-step uh, process that is the first step is to adopt agile the second is to scale the teams uh, basically scaling and start working as a team of teams, right? And the next stage is to transform the entire enterprise into a truly agile enterprise. So any large enterprise will have many IT systems uh, providing value to the customers. And to exit, and uh, so what happens is uh, in the large enterprise, there is a yearly planning which happens right and they start uh, uh, might be they decide that this year we will start this set of projects all these they actually during their planning cycle they decide the hundreds of projects which they will be doing and then they keep tracking on basically yearly basis they track how much they have really achieved uh, things like that right so once the project is approved it goes through a board, right? And once the approval is over, the teams are onboarded. And the teams will start off this agile adoption. The methods they would use is probably Scrum, Kanban, any of this. So executing and they execute the project. So they here their scope is basically it is uh, and it's like the annual projects are decided and just in time uh, teams are built in are bundled or brought in together. They execute the project and in, uh, incorporate the quick feedbacks which come from their uh, customers, right? Uh, provide them immediate fixes, uh, not fixes, basically provide them the values. But again, this is only a small set of uh, project, right? So this is the beginning of adoption in which they actually learn, they imbibe the culture of uh, providing incremental delivery and quick having quick feedback loops and uh, this agile men's mindset all this actually settles in with the team now it's like the uh, team is rightly enabled but then 
you need to change i mean say now these projects are all annually planned start when you are trying to say you say i don't need this project anymore right they will not be able to quickly take up the change so this full law uh, process of annual planning uh, is like a hindrance for them the next stage is what they do is they think of uh, working as a team of teams they want to start delivering new initiatives new uh, that is basically they are trying to scale up uh, the program so basically a program or a team of teams work together to deliver a bigger initiative to the business unit uh, so, and they also in the scaling option with when they start in the agile journey itself when they start so they take uh, the time frame which was yearly is now being shortened up to quarterly so basically any changes which is required say i don't need a set of initiatives right i can might be in the immediate coming quarter itself you know uh end that and then start up with a might be something more relevant to the project so that way this is the quarterly planning but now all these initiatives will be controlled by a portfolio team on top so now this portfolio team becomes a bottleneck for you so uh, waiting for the portfolio to approve it if the approval and things are going fine it's fine otherwise this can be a bottleneck but the team of teams can coordinate and synchronously plan all this would become a a uh, scaling mechanism for the teams so running an uh, agile program will enable basically enable you to in this quarterly uh, time frames they will actually uh, inspect and adapt in this shorter horizon uh, the next uh, so now that the team uh, so if you see in the previous one the team has actually become agile and now they actually have scale themselves up to a say, uh, initiative level the next uh, and the portfolio is governing that the next stage would be to actually achieve true agile the highest level of business agility when uh, in this sense it is like you don't need somebody to tell you a portfolio owner or somebody just telling you this initiative it should be more like the team feels the she require i mean they actually sense what is the need of the customer and responds to the customer needs and deliver me delivering the innovative solutions to the teams this is like the final stage the transform stage of this is basically of this journey of adoption of the agile matrices so basically here what happens the team will be have a cross functional stable cross function so what we saw at the team is basically they are pulling in people as and when they require as and when the project comes but now here it is basically you have a cross functional team and that team is funded uh we don't know what are the initiatives that this team has to work on but the team is always funded based on say Uh, if the team is not performing well probably they will not fund that particular team they will fund the team which is performing better so that way they completely are empowered to and the team is completely empowered to identify and roll out the capabilities uh which is something which is going to give maximum benefit to the customer the outcome is basically you keep and what happens is see what we saw previously was there was a annual cycle then there is a quarterly here it is a continuous loop which happens uh and they keep delivering values as and when they i mean it's not like uh, you need the quarterly cycle some uh, portfolio manager to tell you right the team is empowered the team is a whole team the structure the team knows that this is what has to be done or i mean there is no boundaries so suppose say in the previous uh, in the scaling though we had multiple team of teams there might be dependencies between them right but here it is it's a whole team so it's like the 
whole one complete team which is doing everything so the dependencies are actually overcome i mean we have broken that dependency on the broken those dependencies right and this uh, roadmap this rolling roadmap which is being created by this whole team is aligned to the strategic uh, goal and it is uh, incrementally being delivered by implementing the right set of agile processes cicd practices all these you will ensure that you will be rolling out continuous value to your customers the ultimate goal of the enterprise is being extremely responsive creating right solution uh, to the customer in the transform stage this will empower the whole team to roll out new products new features continuously rap at rapid speed and maximum maximum value thus enterprises must make take a systematic approach towards uh, moving or towards scaling up and ultimately reaching the transform stage business agility in the true sense is about enterprise being ahead of the curve responding to customer needs faster right delivering innovative solutions the whole process does not happen uh, like overnight again in a big enterprise it cannot happen overnight it has to be planned step by step they can actually say probably first you have to do the adoption now if the teams are adopted and they know agile they understand the practices and uh, they have actually picked up what is best for them and taken it further right then they will be able to uh, achieve true uh, agility uh, during this uh, journey at the end of every stage they have to keep uh, tracking the results get to know what are the processes which work or they might have to change some process or set structure and all these changes will have to be keep kept take i mean it has to be taken frequently by the team the complete team the whole team which is there we have multiple tools which are available for this to en enable the scaling structure and the transformation there so jail uh, which is a product which i i am from is an agile planning and delivery a uh, platform that enables enterprises through this evolutionary journey i'm not able to share my screenshots else i would have just shown you one a uh, few parts of it but uh, jail will help both scrum and kanban so at a team level you can have scrum and kanban teams um, and that can be the adoption stage is enabled then you have the next layer of sca scaling which uh, be uh, support safe less dad all those frameworks uh, please go ahead and uh, i mean jail is also available for one year subscription up to 20 users free uh, please request you all to please visit our website www.jail.io to know more thank you for sparing your valuable time and i hope i'm right on time thank you all be safe have a great evening